Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium here at Pikeville High School where Tuesday night volleyball action between the Pikeville Lady Panthers and the Johnson Central Lady Eagles. I'm Chotty Thompson, along with Wayne Fugit, Alex Parsley in the studio, and I've got Heath Wiley here with me. And Heath's going to talk a little bit about uh, got a little bit Gearheart of everything. Fiber. Yeah. yeah, Gearheart Fiber coming to Pikeville. Uh, really excited. We're excited to be a part of the community, get into the town, and give you a big internet. Wow, that is exciting. Yep, bundles. We're going to have uh, home security service, blooms. The whole shebang, we want to have everything ready. We're getting ready to launch. It's getting closer and closer by the day. So we're excited. That is great. And you all have a, uh, a new office in Pikeville? Uh, yeah, it's going to be opening a, soon? Yeah, we have an office in Pikeville. We have uh, everything already decaled out, ready to go. Um, we're going to be launching a brand new order section for the city of Pikeville as well to make it easy for the customer to go on and find our service, our packages, our home security service, and just, you'll be able to sign up and get scheduled for install as soon as we launch it. We will let everybody know when it's ready to go. So That's going to be exciting, exciting yeah. and I'm sure there's a lot of people that's really fired up about it. They are. Um, something that's really cool, too, is... We have launched the website, so if you'd like to know more information about it, go to gearheartfiber.com. We have our map, our coverage map, to the zones we're going to launch in the city limits now. And then coming soon, we'll be launching the city of Prestonsburg. So two fiber launches, it's going to be great. Wow, boy in Prestonsburg. Yep. yep. And also, we have a new uh, security office in Harold. Uh, man, it's great. We've got our new sign put up the other day. It's beautiful, and we and if you're looking for a, a security, home security, home monitoring, takeovers, cameras only, uh, you know, packages, basic packages, bundles, Gearheart Security has you covered. Give them a holler at 1-800-264-1730 or visit the website at gearheartsecurity.com. Well, I know with the changing times, the security system is, uh, is just about a must. It really is, especially when homes are becoming smart homes. You can actually use Z-Wave technology, control your lights, door locks, thermostats, everything in your home. So Really convenient. That makes it really convenient. So, Chaudy, I'm excited to be here at the game, especially because we put a table down here in the front lobby. And I'd like to thank the Pikeville High School, Pikeville High School for letting us come up, set up, give out a little bit of information. we got some giveaways like for a PlayStation 5. And also download our WPRG.TV app right now because it's free and you'll be able to stream games like this anywhere in the world. And not only stream the games, but you can go back and watch them at a later date. Definitely, definitely. And also, here on TV. There Same you go. Point. Well, Pikeville coming into this game on a three-game win streak uh, over Floyd Central, Pike Central, and Jenkins. And Johnson Central coming off a two-game losing streak following the Paintsville and Letcher Central. Pikeville's record is 15-9, and nine, and Johnson Central has a 17-14 record. The last time these teams met was at Johnson Central, where the Golden Eagles won in five sets. It was a back-and-forth battle that kept the crowd on the edge of their seats. I look for much the same tonight. Pikeville will have to contain the DeLong sisters, who combined for 32 kills, led by Mason DeLong, who had 21. And Johnson Central's back throw will need to slow the attacks down by Pikeville's hitters, who had three players and double-figure kills led by Kylie Hall, Caroline Wright, and Reagan Mullins. We are getting ready for action. Chotty, this is the first time a TV audience has been able to see Johnson Central this year, and uh, they're tough. They're a tough team. They really are. They, uh, uh, they've had a big schedule. I think they've played 31 games this year. Of course, they're in a tough district over Paintsville as well, too, so. District action begins next week all around the 15th region. Teams wrapping up their regular season. And that's going to be held in East Ridge, is that yes. correct? The 59th district, yes. Yeah. yes. The regional tournament will be at Floyd Central the, the following week. And looks like we're getting ready to 
to get started with the national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the T.W. Auburn Memorial Gymnasium on the campus of Pikeville High School for tonight's volleyball action. At this time, we kindly ask everyone to rise, and gentlemen, we humbly ask you to remove your hats as PHS senior Rachel Helm sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rapids we so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled And now let's meet tonight's teams. First, for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Lady Eagles of Johnson Central. Number one, Braylon Harless. Number two, Brittany McCarty. Number four, Kaylee Blevins. Number five, Mia Estep. Number six, Lauren Trimble. Number nine, JC Baker. Number 10, Madison Goble. Number 13, Alyssa Clevenger. Number 21, Addison Burchett. Number 23, Mason DeLong. Number 24, Haley Van Hoos. And number 28, Randy DeLong. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, your Pikeville Lady Panthers. Number one, Kyla Lee. Number two, Carly May. Number three, Kylie Grace Hall. Number seven, Reagan Mullins. Number nine, Olivia Williamson. Number 10, Kenzie Joseph. Number 11, Kate Salyers. Number 14, Caroline Wright. Number 15, Sophie Woods. Number 20, Lindy Gearhart. Number 21, Sophie Merlo. And number 22, Rachel Helms. And that was Rachel Helms that we heard uh, with the uh, national anthem. A beautiful rendition. One of the seniors here playing for the final time on their home floor, Shotty. That is right. It is the, uh, the final home game for the uh, Pikeville Panthers. As we get set for action, and I think we're going to see a lot of action tonight between these two teams. Very competitive uh, JV game right beforehand here. Johnson Central came away with that. Actually, with the um, the high school teams, uh, two matchups earlier in the year. One was during a Mountain Classic tournament, and Johnson Central won that one, uh, two to one. And then, of course, at uh, Johnson Central earlier, um, when it went five sets, and that wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't happen again tonight. Very well could. Of course, Johnson Central has uh, a big power hitter in uh, number 23, Mason DeLong, and number 28, Randy DeLong. 
sisters, what, one grade apart? Is that right? Yes. Time for volleyball here at the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. And Braylon Harless back to start it off for Lady Eagles. And I believe that was number six, Lauren Tremble. And she had a great uh, JV game a while ago. We watched her play a little earlier. Service area, error on the Eagles. And number 20, Lindy Gearhart back to serve for the Lady Panthers. Just out of bounds. Pipe up two to one. Gearhart continue to serve. Long's tip drops in just behind the front row. And we're tied up at two apiece. Set to Mullins, she tips it over. And ball handling error on the and Lady Mullins Eagles. had that big block there just early in that volley there. Number 14, Caroline Wright serving for the Lady Panthers. Her serve is good. And we're tied up at three. Going back and forth. And that's number 13, Alyssa Clevenger. Back to serve for the Johnson Central. And that'll be a service error for the Lady Eagles. Number seven, Reagan Mullins. Back to serve for the Lady Panthers. And Olivia Williamson takes advantage of the overpass. 5-3, Panthers on top early in set one. attack by Addison Burchett, number 21 for Johnson Central. And number 23, Mason DeLong, back to serve for the Lady Eagles. Just a little bit outside. 6-4, back for leading Johnson Central. Kyla Lee back to serve. And a push there to the right back corner, and it falls in. As number two, Brittany McCarty. Steps behind the service line. Yeah. 
Kylie all unable to get that one across. And we're tied at six. And a double contact called on the Eagles. And Kylie Hall steps back to serve for the Panthers. Service error on the Panthers. And we're tied at seven. As number 21, Addison Burchett steps back to serve for Johnson Central. Big power swing brought back up by the Panthers. Caroline wow. Wright with attack, and it was blocked by Braylon Harless. That was just a good play all around. We've got a, two really good solid volleyball teams out here tonight. That's been evident here from the start, from the get-go. And Johnson Central with a two-point lead, 9-7. Burchett still serving. A miscommunication in the back row of the Panthers. 10-7, Johnson Central. And that will fall on Johnson Central side. Kate Salyer, the libero for the Panthers, back to serve. <laughs> Set to Mullins just a little bit long. And Braylon Harless back to serve for Johnson Central. And attack by number 23, Mason DeLong. It falls in. And Johnson Central. Takes our early four-point lead, 12 to 8, and we will take a break and come right back with action. Buying a home. It's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service, for strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Five. And welcome back to the TW Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. At the home of the Pikeville Panthers. Lady Panthers trailing early in set one, eight to 12 as Johnson Central coming out with a little bit of a lead here, Wayne. That was uh, back on their heels just a little bit right now. I think they're going to get it together, though. It's... it's tough to do when you got play like that, but they get the point. Caroline Wright blocked by DeLong, and it goes out of bounds. 
as number 20 Lindy Gerhardt back to serve for the Panthers. And along with a big swing and wind up. 13-9. As number 28, Randy DeLong steps back to serve for Johnson Central. Gearhart struggling to get to the overpass. Yeah. A pass error on the Panthers. 14-9, Johnson Central. And the long serve will sail out of bounds. See if Wright can get on a roll here. Blocked by Mullins, wow. but they hit through the block, and it drops on the Panther side. 15-10 as number 13, Alyssa Clevenger, steps back behind the service line for Johnson Central. Set to Hall, and she will get the kill as it falls down on what did you see who got that assist? The assist leader for the team, Lindy Gearhart. Lindy Gearhart. I mean, we figured she had 329 for the year. Yeah. Impressive. And the shot by Hall just a little long. And that was Mullins with that serve, that last serve for Panthers, and it was a great serve. DeLong back to serve. Johnson Central. Olivia Williamson. Is that off the... Yep. And I think nice it was, kill. I think the ball was actually out, but it looked like it was tipped. I think that's what he called, wasn't it? Yes. 16-12. Gearhart to Williamson, and it falls just a little short as she tried to tip it over the net. 17-12, Johnson Central on top. Brittany McCarty back to serve for the Lady Eagles. Nice swing by Hall. Another that swing with Hall, Ooh. just a little bit long. It was close. It was very close. But, uh, the line judge called it out, so it was just a little long. Hot and called timeout once again. And with that, we'll take another break. Reliable internet is crucial for everyone. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If your household qualifies, the new affordable connectivity program can reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Learn more online today. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or take it to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99, which has 50 gig of high-speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And welcome back to the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium where Johnson Central leads the Panthers 18 to 12 in set one. Both teams were battling back and forth, trading points early in the set. And Johnson Central has pulled out to a little bit of a lead as number two, Brittany McCarty back to serve for Johnson Central. And Olivia Williamson, as it rolls off a couple defenders' hands. Kylie Hall, back to serve for Pikeville. 
And there it is. Caroline Wright takes advantage of the overpass with the kill. Fourteen eighteen, Pikeville trailing by four. All second serve is good. Tip by, I believe that was number 28. It was 28. Randy DeLong, and it falls in that hole that we've seen Big gap so there between the, between the block and the back. Addison Burchett's serve is up, and it's an ace. 20 to 14. Johnson Central pulls ahead back by six. And Burchett's serve is up and good. Caroline Wright with another kill. As the Panthers pull back within five. Kate Salyer's serve. He is long. Yeah. Needed that one for sure. 21-15 now. Number one, Braylon Harless. With a jump serve. Set to right. Give her another kill. Caroline Wright. The assist to Gearhart. And Lindy steps behind the service line. And they're going to call double contact. As Pikeville pulls back within four. 17-21. And Gearhart served way outside. That one sailed on her, didn't it? Seventeen twenty-two. Randy DeLong back to serve for Johnson Central. Number 23, Mason DeLong. With a kill on that, 23-17. You know, Mason DeLong, had, she had 21 kills the last time these teams met. She's well on her way right now. And Randy DeLong, her serve is up and good. That and was a great shot. Caroline Wright with another kill. And Randy DeLong had uh, 11 kills against this team last time. Caroline Wright, serve is up and good. And another kill for DeLong. 18-24. Set point as number 13, Alyssa Clevenger. Steps back behind the service line for the Lady Eagles. And with that ace, the Lady Eagles will take set number one. We'll take a break and come back for more volleyball action. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Everything you love about TV 
and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. And welcome back to volleyball action here at the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. Matchup between Johnson Central and Pikeville. And I'm here with Heath Wiley. Heath, thanks, Charlie, for having me. Um, this is this is exciting. I mean, I'm serious. I'd like to give a shout out to all the girls participating tonight with Johnson Central and Pikeville. It's a great matchup. Great game. You know what else is exciting, Heath? Yeah. Gearheart Fiber. Coming yes, to Pikeville. Sir. Tell us a little bit about yes, sir. it. Sir, Gerhard Fiber will be launching very soon in the city of Pikeville within the city limits. We have a map on our GerhardFiber.com website page. If you'd like to go find out where we are, where we're going to be launching, go check it out today. You'll be able to see what packaging we're offering and everything else. Plus, we'll be launching a brand new order section for all the customers in the city of Pikeville. Plus, we'll be launching in Prestonburg as well. So we're really excited to expand the fiber network with Gerhard Communications. That is very exciting, and I'm sure, like I said earlier, a lot of people looking forward to that. Hey, Heath, tell us what's the advantage of having fiber as opposed to other Internet providers or services. Uh, our uh, Gerhardt Fiber Service is a symmetrical service. What it is is if you get 20, 250 meg down, you're getting 250, 250 meg up. So essentially, if you want to come in and say, hey, I want a gig service with Gerhardt Fiber, you're getting a gig down and a gig up. And also... It's perfect for streaming, gaming, surfing, and so much more. And it especially works well with your home security system through Gear Art Security. It also works well with our digital phone service and our brand new streaming TV service, the Gear Art TV. Get cloud DVR, uh, stream on multiple devices in your home and mobile. You get a free mobile app that you can actually get on Gear Art TV anywhere in the world. And fiber is much more reliable too, isn't it? It sure is. And also, this is a brand new network. You won't have to worry about a lot things on the network causing any lack of friction there's no splice lines it is a brand new build coming straight from harold a brand new co and harold be providing all that great service so everybody get ready for it it's coming and get excited for it speaking of exciting we're back getting ready to start the set number two lindy gearhart number 20 back to serve for the panthers and a service error for the Panthers to start off. And number one, Braylon Harless serves for Johnson Central. Block go out of bounds? Yep. Block goes out of bounds off the hit from Kyla Lee in the Mason DeLong as Caroline Wright, number 14, back to serve. Her serve is up and good. And DeLong does a little tip into that, that gap. Pikeville's going to have to close that up. 2-1. Johnson Central leading set two. Randy DeLong serve is up and good. Set to Mason DeLong, and she takes advantage of it with a shot in the back left corner. Johnson Central with an early 3-1 lead in set two. Randy DeLong serve is up and good. Yeah. 
Rockville keeping it alive. Set to Mason DeLong, and it was out of bounds. Out of bounds, yeah, just outside. Johnson Central looks surprised, but now that it looked out of bounds from up here. Yeah, and I think the uh, the referee agreed with the, the line judge. Reagan Mullins with a jump serve. Nice dig for Caroline Wright. Mason DeLong, she's hard to stop. Well, she's been on that front line just about all night, isn't she? Right there in the in the middle for that one. 4-2, Johnson Central on top. Number 13, Alyssa Clevenger back to serve. Hit to Lee. Dug out of there by DeLong. And Kylie Hall shot is inbounds. They That's finally the- hit them where they ain't, right? <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> they'd had a, Lee had a couple of great kills there and or attempts and uh, they both were dug out there. Lee's serve is up and good. And DeLong with another kill. Five to three. And give hard serve. Hard give her an serve. ace. 6-3 as Johnson Central pulls ahead by three. Another hard serve by Mason DeLong. See what the call was. Somebody under the net. Uh, yep. I couldn't see. I couldn't tell the number I they called it on. Couldn't tell. Seven three. Johnson Central on top. And service error on Johnson Central. That's rare. It is. Papa needs to take advantage of those mistakes because Johnson Central's not making too many of them, are they? They aren't. But there's another one. There is one. As Pikeville pulls back within two. Kyla Grace Hall back to serve. And a service error on Hall. And you can't afford to make those mistakes against a team like Johnson Central. 8-5. Brittany McCarty's serve is up and good. Pikeville trying to do the same thing, dropping it in that that hole on Johnson Central, and uh, they're just pulling up everything. Haley Hamblin's called timeout for Pikeville. Uh, we'll just keep it right here. It's Absolutely. Uh, nine to five, Johnson Central on top of the Panthers in the second set. Both teams battling, but I tell you, the uh, the difference is uh, Mason DeLong. He really is. She's she's been uh, great on the on, when she's been on the front line, and she plays hard no matter where she's at. There's a great serve, hard serve. Her sister Brandy's got the drop serve. I notice it's a little bit looks a little bit different, and it equally is, is tough to return. Yes, both of those players are are, are really good players, um, and and like you mentioned. Uh, 
Now Mason is, is great all around the court, whether she's serving or uh, over the front line, but she is definitely lethal in that in that front row. Yeah, I think Pavel's going to have to get Williamson a little more involved uh, at the net. Johnson Central on top in the second set, 9-5, to five, as Brittany McCarty back to serve. And set to the long, just a little bit long. As Pikeful Liberos, Kate Sawyer's back to serve. along with the tip and it's going to drop in that's about three of those she's got tonight 21 addison burchett back to serve for johnson central as they lead 10 to 6. her serve is up and good caroline wright with another kill Looked like they were going to be able to receive it, and then it just kind of rolled up the defender's arm. Eighth grader Lindy Gerhardt back to serve for Pikeville. Said to Randy DeLong. She does the tip. Pikeville able to handle it. She wouldn't tip that one with a big swing. Mm -hmm. Both teams swinging, and Pikeville comes out on top with that one. Caroline Wright would not be denied that time. Harless had a great block there right before that. And Pikeville trails by two. Gearhart's serve is up and good, and that's going to be an ace for Gearhart. As they pull within one, and Johnson Central is going to take a timeout. And we'll take a quick break right here on WPRG TV. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Welcome back to Volleyball Action at the TW Oliver Memorial Gymnasium in Pikeville. Where the Panthers trail by one to Johnson Central here in the second set. Lindy Gearhart back to serve. She just had an ace on that last serve. Number 40 on the year, I believe. She has a little wicked serve. <laughs> and her serve is up and good. Set to Randy DeLong and... Kill for her. Eleven nine. Johnson Central pulls back ahead by two. Out, and that one is a little long by Braylon Harless. Back within one. Caroline Wright back to serve for the Lady Panthers. Her jump serve is good. And Mason DeLong, another kill for her. Critical time right now for Pipe was Mason DeLong back on the front line. 12 10. I don't know how many kills she has because I don't have a calculator yeah. to count that many. And her sister drops that one in for an ace. 
Yeah, she's got a totally different look at the serve than her sister. Of course, watch the drop on this. And <laughs> chopped too much, didn't it? Yeah, just a little, little too soon on that drop. Yeah. 13-11, Johnson Central on top. Mullins Reagan got Mullins. This jump serve here that's going to be deadly. Set to Lee. And set to Mason DeLong. That's going to be another kill for her. 14 11. Pikeville's going to have to do something to stop that on the, in order to have a chance at this one. As the serve from Alyssa Clevenger is good. And the set was a little close to the net, and DeLong won that battle against Williamson. Clevenger serve is up and good. Now Williamson with a nice kill on that one. Assist to Gearhart. A little aggression in that swing, I uh, believe. A lot of aggression in that swing. Kyla Lee serve is up and good for the Panthers. Ooh. As Mason DeLong hits through the block. And Johnson Central takes a four-point lead, 16-12. to 12. Mason DeLong's serve is good. It's another ace for her. So as Pipe will use both their timeouts or just one? Now they've used their second timeout. And uh, we'll just keep it right here. At Johnson Central, 17-12. Uh, and you do not want to go down two sets to none to, to Johnson Central, especially after you battled them on their floor to five sets and picked up a win. Yeah, that's, uh, that definitely put you put you behind the eight ball, as the old saying goes. Uh, Pikeville's going to have to do something to get back in this game. And number one, they're going to have to shut down Mason DeLong, and and I just don't know that that's possible. It's it's a tall task. At a least week calm ago, her down a little bit. Yeah, a week ago, Pipewell had maybe their best best game of the season as they uh, shut out Floyd Central three three sets to none. And and how were they able to to manage that that big win? Because Floyd Central was at many believed to be the second best team in the region, especially when you look at the RPI. Maybe try to go back and recreate that game. Yes, I agree. And Kylie Hall in the net, trying to push it over as Johnson Central takes a six-point lead, 18-12. Mason DeLong serve is good. And miscommunication on Pikeville. Two players go for it. And it's shanked out of bounds. 19-12. Eagles on top. Twenty twelve. You hear that jet fly over? <laughs> that was low. <laughs> it's not Putin, though. So. Mason DeLong still serving. And the overpass by Sawyer sets up a number two. That was Brittany McCarty with the slam. Big swing. 21-12. As Johnson Center pulls out to a commanding nine-point lead. And Hall's shot is out of bounds. Make that a 10-point lead, 22 to 12. And 
And that one was a little long by Mason DeLong. That was close, though. It was really close. But I hear that only counts in hanger nades and horseshoes. Uh, yeah. Kylie Grace Hall with the serve. Set a little bit too much. Your heart goes was, for the kill, and Harless was under none there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-two fourteen. All serve is up and good. Set to right, blocked by number two, Brittany McCarty, and it'll fall on the Panther side. 23-14, Johnson Central on top. And that's a little change-up pace for <laughs> that's a serve, and that one's going to go. Yeah, if you're Bible, ball. you've got to be able to put something back across the net a little better than that, especially with that, that soft serve. Soft serve, just like Rupp Arena, right? That's right. Boy, that's good. And McCarty's serve is up and good. Gearhart shoots it over. Sawyers pushes it deep. Pikeville fighting to wow. keep it alive, and they do. Set to number one, Harless. Nicely dug out by the Panthers. Set to Randy DeLong. She tries to tap it over, but it catches the top of the net and falls back on Johnson's central side. 24-15, Johnson central on top. Panthers back to serve. Kate Salyers, her serve is up and good. Set to number one, Harless. Dug out by number one, Lee. And with that, Johnson Central will take the second set, 25 to 15. We'll be back for set three action in just a minute on WPRG TV. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Even on the most perfect day, the unexpected can happen. But with just one call to their local Red Ribbon expert at Overhead Door, they can get their garage door fixed or replaced in a jiffy. The genuine, the original Overhead Door for all of life's little ups and downs. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or ticket to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99, which has 50 gig of high speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Reliable internet is crucial for everyone. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If your household qualifies, the new affordable connectivity program can reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Learn more online today. Welcome back to volleyball action at the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium this Tuesday night here in Pikeville where Johnson Central has knocked off the Panthers in the first set 25 to 18 and the second set 25 15 as we go into the third set. Uh, 
job. Pikeville's gonna got a big hole to climb out of. And during the break, we went back and looked at the at the matchup down at Johnson Central, and all five of those games were fairly close. I mean, a couple of them really close. 25-27, yeah. 25-23. Uh, be interesting to see if Pikeville can get something going here in this third set and climb back, but they're going to have to contain both DeLongs. Uh, if they want a chance at this. That's the long and the short of it, right? <laughs> it, is. it is. And, you know, that's funny because that's, that's kind of how they play. That's, one that's one how they has do that play. long shot, yeah. Yeah. and the other one has the short shot. Same way with the serves. And it works well for both of them. As we get set for volleyball action, Braylon Harless starts off with an ace for Johnson Central as they lead the third set, one nothing. And a jump served by Harless. Set to Mason DeLong, and that's going to be another kill. Two nothing. Three nothing is that's an, another ace. Oh, well, serve. Does Pikefall have any fight left in them? If they do, they're going to have to turn it on soon, Wayne. Yeah. John Central shows no signs of letting up at all. Arliss's jump serve almost perfect. And another ace. I think that's three in a row. Is that three in a row for her? That is three in a row. Yeah. Wow. Braylon Harless. 4 nothing. Johnson Central on top in the third set. And nice. four, in a row. four in a row for Arliss. As that one it looked like a little bit of a miss hit and it dropped down in the in the front corner. Uh, we'll just keep it right here as Pikeville calls a timeout with an early 5 nothing lead that Johnson Central has over on the Panthers. We'd like to thank our sponsors tonight, Gearheart Fiber, Gearheart Security, and Overhead Door of East Kentucky. And it was good to see Heath get out of the house here. He, he of course, was that set up in the lobby there with some materials and uh, some things uh, to promote our... Yeah, he had some trinkets, uh, hats he was giving Absolutely. away. Absolutely. You know, he don't get out a whole lot, you know. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're just kidding. Heath Wiley does a whole lot. Yeah, we just spent almost a week at Jeannie Wiley Festival in Prestonsburg, Wednesday through Saturday, anyway, so. Is that five, five in, in a, a row? row. Yeah. That is five in a row, five aces in a row. For Braylon Harless, six nothing, Johnson Central over the Panthers. And her jump serve is up and in. That one will not go down as an ace. Finally, pot one on the boards here in this third set. 6-1, Pikeville trailing by five. Number 20, Lindy Gearhart back to serve for the Panthers. Nice ace by Gearhart. She needs to do about five in a row then. Get the Panthers back in this one. Panthers pull back within four. Gearhart's serve is up and good. Set to Reagan Mullins. And it's going to be a kill for Mullins. 
And Pikeville back within three. Gearhart serve is up and good. Pikeville able to keep it alive, right and look at that. Eyes in the back of her head, right? Reagan Mullins, little shot over her head, and it drops untouched on Johnson Central's side. Pikeville back within two. Gearhart fires another good serve. Set to Mason DeLong, dug out by Salyers. Set to Randy DeLong, she does the tip. Pikeville was ready for the last one, but Mason DeLong does the tip, and they wasn't ready for that one. No. And it drops in. Randy DeLong back to serve for Johnson Central. They lead 7-4. to four. Caroline Wright with another kill. And she will step behind the service line for the Panthers. I'm trying to get a rally going here. It's going to be tough. Double, contact. Contact. Double contact on DeLong. Pikeville within one. Caroline Wright's serve is up and good. Set to Mason DeLong, and it's just to the outside. We're tied at seven. And Johnson Central going to take a timeout. We will take a timeout and be back with more action on WPRG TV. More than ever, life is full of change, and sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. Welcome back to volleyball action here this Tuesday night at the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium in Pikeville. If you're just tuning in, Johnson Central with a two-set lead on the Panthers as we're tied up in the third set, 7-7. Pikeville looks a little more settled down as Gearhart was able to bring him back. Would have been able to put a few points together instead of. Caroline Wright's serve is good. And DeLong pushed it to the back, and there's nobody back there to handle it for the Panthers. Johnson Central back up by one. As Alyssa Clevenger steps back to serve for the Lady Eagles. Nice serve. Reagan Mullins with the tap. And the Lady Eagles couldn't handle it. We're tied back up at eight. Reagan Mullins will step back to serve. Mullins jump serve is good. Set to Mason DeLong. She hits through the block on Williamson and falls in. Johnson Central back up by one. And Mason DeLong back to serve. DeLong's serve is up and good. Set to Lee. Takes a shot in the back corner, but it's just a little bit wide. And Johnson Central goes up by two. Yeah. 
Mason DeLong, serve is good. Set to Williamson who takes a shot and it's just a little bit long. And Central will take a three-point lead, 11-8. Mason DeLong's shot is good and falls in. Pikeville can't get it over the net. And it's 8-12. Just like that, Wayne, in a blink of an eye. Yeah, it don't take long, does it? Mason DeLong shot is up, and wow, what a kill by Olivia Williamson. Gearhart does the dig, pops it up. Olivia Williamson steps back with a big swing, and it just goes off the defender's hand and falls in. Pikeville trailing by three. Kyla Lee's serve is up and good. Set to Harless, brought up by number one, but now they're calling a net violation on Williamson, I think it was. Net violation on Williamson, that was it. That's He showed number nine. 13-9. As Brittany McCarty serve was up and good. And I'm set with a nice shot by Braylon Harless. Falls in Panthers territory. 14-9, Johnson Central with a five-point lead. Got to get a timeout right here, I believe. And an ace, Brittany McCarty. Drops in front of the Pikeville's back row, unable to get to it. And Johnson Central pulls out with a six-point lead, 15-9 here in the third set. McCarty serve is up and good. Set to Williamson. She hits through the block, and it goes out of bounds on Johnson Central. Great shot there by Williamson. That's what Pikeville has needed. You called that early in the game. And Kylie Grace Hall with the service error. Johnson Central on top of the Panthers in Pikeville. Number 21, Addison Burchett back to serve. Nice line shot just over top of the net. Pikeville struggles to get it. They do get it. Set to Harless, dug out by Salyers. Set to Randy DeLong, and it's a little long. Sixteen ten. Johnson Central on top of Pikeville in the third set. Sixteen eleven. I'm sorry. As number eleven, Kate Salyer steps back to serve for the Panthers, and gives Salyer's an ace, and Pikeville pulls within four. Twelve sixteen. Now your serve is good. Set to Randy DeLong. She does a tip. Pikeville's not ready for it. And Johnson Central back on top by five. 17-12. Braylon Harless steps behind the service line for the Lady Eagles. Her jump serve is up and good. Set to Mason DeLong, and it's out of bounds. Just down the line. 13-17, Pikeville trailing by four. Number 20, Gearhart, back to serve for the Panthers. Good serve by Gearhart. Randy the long shot for Johnson Central sails out of bounds. 
Pikeville back within three. Gearhart's serve is up and good. And Kyla Lee with the attack. That's going to fall down. Pikeville's going to be within two. Right back in this one. 15-17. Gearhart still back serving. Good serve by Gearhart. Set to Mason DeLong, and she hits it a little long. Pikeville back within one. 16-17 here in the third set. Gearhart's serve is up and good. And Johnson Central gets the point on that volley. 18-16, Johnson Central by two. Randy DeLong back to serve. And the overpass, Pikeville Setter couldn't get to it. And Johnson Central goes up by three. 19-16. Randy DeLong's serve is a little wide. And Pikeville back within two. 17-19. Number 14, Caroline Wright, back to serve for the Panthers. Her serve is up and good. Set to Mason Long, and she's long again. Pikeville back within one, 18-19. Back and forth. Now Johnson Central is going to time out. Johnson Central is going to take a timeout, and we will take a timeout as well. WPRG TV. Today, reliable Internet is crucial for everyone to thrive. Gearheart Broadband gets it. If you or someone in your household qualifies, we can help you access the new affordable connectivity program. Allowing Gearheart Broadband to reduce your broadband bill by up to $30 per month. Visit imctv.com slash ACP to learn more about this new opportunity. Gearheart Broadband, here to keep you connected. Welcome back here to set three action at the T.W. Oliver Memorial Gymnasium. For this matchup between Johnson Central and Pikeville. 1918, Pikeville trailing by one in the third set. Johnson Central leading the match two sets to none over the Panthers. <laughs> the crowd getting fired up here. And sweet Caroline Servin, number 14, <laughs> Caroline Wright. And that shot by Johnson Central was going to go out of bounds, but Pikeville had a player run over there and try to make a play on it, and it goes out of bounds. And Pikeville's going to take a timeout. We'll just keep it right here. Johnson Central leading two points in the third set and leading more importantly, they've got 20 on the scoreboard, though, and five points away from this match. Yes. Yeah, five points away from putting the game out. Um, but, you know, uh, Pikeville has done better this set. They really in, have. In, in containing uh, the attacks by Johnson Central. Um, I think of course, Hamilton's just telling them, listen, don't let up. You've done good. We can get back in this thing. And number 13. Alyssa Clevenger back to serve for Johnson Central as they lead 20 to 18. Her serve is up and good. Set to Mullins. Blocked by number 23, Mason DeLong. 21 18. Panthers trailing by three. Clevenger back to serve. Her serve is up and good. And 
the long shot down the line is a little wide. Yeah. I started to say it looked out. 19-21. Panthers pull back within two. Reagan Mullins back to serve. See if she can get this jump serve to drop in on the, and she does. But they are able to get it back over. And Mason DeLong hitting through the block on Williamson. And it falls in 22-19. Mason DeLong back to serve. And a bad pass by the back row from Pikeville. To have such a hard serve, she doesn't have to put a lot of effort into it. It, it just seems like it's a, it's easy for her to do. 23-19. Serve is up and good. Nice block by Williamson on number one, Harless. So nice, they just wanted to do the tip. Yeah. Ready to go back at it. And that's going to be off of Gearhart. That was hard. Hard with the kill. Harless with the kill. Gearhart tried to pull it up. There's not much you can do with that. Wow. This is game point, 24-19. Set point, game point. And that shot is up. And set to Williamson. It's going to be tipped, and it's going to fall in. 20. Now, 24. Pikeville pulls back within four. Kyla Lee back to serve for the Panthers. Her serve is up and good. Set to Harless, blocked by Gearhart. Pushed over by Hall, and 21, Burchett. Goes for the attack, but it's a little bit long outside. 21-24. Pikeville trailing by three. And Kyla Lee's serve is up and good. Set to Harless, and she's going to hit through the block. And with that, Johnson Central is going to take the third set. 25 to 21. We'll take a break and come back with your wrap up on WPRG TV. Buying a home, it's likely the largest purchase you'll ever make. And choosing a bank is one of your most important decisions. Choose wisely. Choose Community Trust Bank to get you home. With over a century of mortgage experience, we are committed to the highest standards of personalized service. For strengths only a community bank can offer, look to Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or take it to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99, which has 50 gig of high speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And welcome back here to the TW Oliver Memorial Gymnasium for Pikeville Volleyball's last home game of the season as they were knocked off three sets by Johnson Central. Johnson Central went in the first set 25 to 18, 25 to 15, and 25 to 21. Uh, close action, just like we expected. Uh, but I thought it might go uh, a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, we were, we were looking maybe at a repeat of that five set game uh, at Johnson Central earlier in the season, but I'm telling you, it's such a, a, it's just such a, a strange sport, Chaudy. I mean, for folks that, that don't follow it a lot, you could come out and be the best team in the region one night and then the next night just not play so well. So, and But now, you got to give Johnson Central credit. Listen, they are a really good volleyball team that folks are going to have to uh, reckon with in the regional tournament, most likely coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. Yes, definitely. And, and any team that, that wants to stand a chance has to contain 
the DeLong sisters, and that's for sure. They're good at what they do. That's that's for, for sure. So. And not to take anything away from any of these other players, you had Braylon uh, Harless that had yes. five stra- aces in a row, yeah. five straight aces. That's unheard of. I've, I've not seen that this year by any of the teams we've watched. Yeah, and it's, it's I mean, the competition's so good in this region. It's just like, uh, like I said, Pipe comes and beats Floyd Central. Floyd Central comes in here and, and leaves with uh, a, a three sets to none loss and uh, looking ahead, I mean, you gotta you gotta think that Paintsville is a team that, that everybody has to have the their sights set on. But you got to get to them to beat them. So, uh, district tournament play begins next week, 59th. We'll be at East Ridge High School, and then uh, the week after that, of course, the uh, the 15th Region Volleyball Tournament at Floyd Central High School. We will be bringing that to you live. So, uh, thank you all for turn, tuning in to WPRG TV. Uh, don't forget to download our app. And also, uh, are you all doing football this weekend? Absolutely. We are at Pike County Central. Uh, it is senior night. Pike County Central with 11 seniors on the squad this year. And they'll be uh, bidding them farewell, their last home game of the year. And they'll be hosting uh, Coach John DeRossett and McGoffin County, the Hornets come calling. And that's going to be, was that Friday night? Friday night at 7.30. We'll have that game live for you on WPRG and across all of our social media platforms, YouTube channel and our uh, Facebook page, as well as WPRG.TV. Well, I'm Chotty Thompson, along with Wayne Fugit and Alex Parsley back at the studio. Thank you all for tuning in. You all have a safe night.